Now we're going to determine how many hot Doritos we would expect in a bag. We do have some given information, and if we take that, uh, the weight of the bag as well as the weight of a serving, and how many chips are in one serving, we can use our understanding of ratios and rates. In this case, a rate with different units. Uh, we can take that information and we can set up two area models to help us out. So noticing that our ratio or our rate is up at the top, our 21 chips to 50 grams, or per 50 grams, that means there's X number of chips per 235 grams. So we're going to also set up our proportion algebraically um, by showing our 21 to 50 rate and our X to 235 rate. And what we're trying to determine ultimately is how many times bigger 235 is than 50. And if we do that by finding our missing factor, working backwards through division, um, we should be able to at least get a reasonable answer somewhat close. Um, if I'm using the visual, I think students can ultimately get started. And in this case, if we, uh, if we really break it down here and go back to our understanding of division and basically try to chunk up this 235 into 50 gram groups, you'll notice that uh, four groups of 50 grams is about 200 grams. Um, if we go and add another 50 gram group, that'll be a little bit too big. So we need ultimately uh, just a little bit more than four times or, or uh, at least a value bigger than four but less than five. And uh, if we do the same thing with our chips, uh, our 21 chip servings, uh, we have that same proportion going on over there. So if we clean this up a little bit and we know that uh, 21 times 4 is equal to 81 and 4 times 50 is equal to 200, that should give us at least a starting point for our students to at least get a reasonable answer or at least an approximation. And if we go a little bit deeper, if I look at, for example, our, our 50, that extra 35 grams that we need to add on to our 200 grams, and we were to think that 35 grams into uh, the 50 gram group, if I was to change that out of 100, that might be a little bit more friendly for me. So um, 50 times 2 is 100. Well, if I double 35, that's 70. 70 out of 100, that's 7 tenths or 71 hundredths. And, uh, you know, we, we can ultimately get somewhere close um, using a little bit of our understanding and, and understanding of number sense and uh, some number flexibility. Uh, if we do that on the, same, on the other side here, we need another 7 tenths of 21 chips. Um, some students might choose to use a calculator or maybe they, they use some other estimation strategies here. We end up with about 14.7 uh, chips in total. If we put those amounts together, we end up with our multiplier, which is 4.7, and a total of 98.7 chips. And hopefully students will have a better understanding of how that proportion works. Now we, got, we must keep in mind that 98.7 is how many Doritos in total there are in the bag. So now what we're going to have to do is look a little deeper here and now determine how many hot Doritos are in the bag. Keeping in mind our 1 to 6 ratio, one hot chip for every six not hot chips. Uh, since we're dealing with the total number of chips in a bag, we now have to consider that that ratio gives us a total of seven chips. Uh, one hot for every six not is seven chips in total. So if we're dealing with the total number in the bag, we do need to keep in mind that seven Doritos is what we're going to be working with, not one or six. And if I want to determine that factor, that missing factor, seven times some number equals 99, uh, I can do the same thing here and determine, well, one hot times that same number should give me the total number of hot chips. We can also use our proportion to set that up. So it's going to look something like this, one over seven chips total. So one hot out of seven chips total is the same as X hot over 99 or so chips total. And if we find that missing factor, taking 99 divided by seven, we find it's about 14.1 times bigger. And thus we need to take one hot chip times 14.1 as well to get our total of 14.1 hot chips.